The decibel scale is a way that we can measure an amplitude of a signal. And so we've probably heard of decibels. So when we talk about uh, it's 105 decibels at the airport or something like that. So what we're talking about there is really how loud something is. So that's for audio, but we can also use the same principle for any signal. Okay, now there's two ways that we can calculate it based on the voltage and also the power. And what they really compare is, it's really a comparison between two, um, two powers or two voltages. Okay, and so I'll look at the formula for voltage. Okay, so if we had a filter and it had an input voltage of some, some voltage and it gave me an output voltage of something, we can say, we can calculate the decibel value for it. So let's do some examples. <coughs> okay. Now as long as both of these are in the same sort of measurement, so whether we're talking volts peak to peak, or volts RMS, or anything like that, average voltage, then we can, as long as they're both the same, then it's fine, it works. If they are different, we need to convert them to the same. So I'll talk about how to do that in a bit later. Um, so if I have an input voltage of 1 volt, and my output voltage is 0 0.2 volts, then I can calculate the power, the decibel is going to be 20 times log base 10. So you calculate if you just press the log button, if it does the log base 10 for you. And it's the ratio of the output to the input, so 0 0.2 divided by 1. Okay? And plugging into my calculator, I can tell you now it's going to be a negative value. And it's negative value because the output is lower than the input. Okay? Or well, this ratio is less than 1. Okay? The ratio is less than 1, the, the dB is negative, okay? Now, the decibels is a logarithmic scale, so um, I'll talk a bit about how we can look at that in a minute. So if I go, look, there's 20, log, two, log one, minus, okay? So if I had a filter with one volt on the input, and at, the, at some frequency had 0.2 volts on the output. Then at that frequency, the filter has a minus 13.9 decibel. Actually, close to the minus 14. Let's look at another one. If I had an output of 2 volt, uh, no, let's say 1.4 volts. And okay. So my output now is bigger, so this has been the output of an amplifier, say, or an active filter. We haven't looked at it yet, but we will soon. Then I can calculate the dB. So it's 20 times of 1.4 over 1, 2.92. Okay, so I'm going to say approximately 3. Okay, so if I had a gain, a voltage gain of 1.4, so the input was 1, and the output was 1.4 times that, 1.4 volts, then the gain is going to be positive 3 dB. If I look at another one where the input is now 1 volt, and the output is 0 0.7 volts, why might I pick on this one? We're, what's 0 0.7 or 0 0.707? What's significant about that? That would be, if for a filter, this would be what frequency? What do we call it? The cutoff frequency, isn't it? Okay? So this would be at the cutoff frequency. And at the cutoff frequency, 20 log of 0 0.707. Actually, I'm going to make that actually 0.707, so I'm going to do the calculations. It pops up nicely. And it's exactly, or pretty close to, um, 
minus 3 dB. Okay. So at the cutoff frequency, the decibel is minus 3 dB. Okay. And so that is that's an important one, and I'll show you how this, this relates in a moment to the power. So when we look at um, the decibel scale, it's a des uh, logarithmic scale, which means that as um, the output voltage drops by a factor of 10, the decibel scale will drop by a factor of well, they'll drop by one. Okay? Each factor of 10 makes it drop by one. Okay? So it's similar to many other logarithmic scales. And if we were to plot decibels against frequency, then you end up getting, uh, for filters, you get straight lines because the response of a uh, filter responds logarithmically with frequency. Okay? So that's why it's appropriate to use a logarithmic scale on the, both the vertical and horizontal axis. Okay, so, so far we've done voltage calculations. Um, we can do the same in reverse. So if I wanted to find the output voltage given an input voltage and a gain in decibels, then we can do that. But the log is the inverse function of the log is 10 to the power of. So if I had V out, it was V in times 10 to the power of dV divided by 20. So we need to take the, the uh, to, if I transpose this equation here, I get this. Um, so, if I had um, V in equals 20 millivolts and gain is, uh, let's say, 6. So if we had a gain of 6, then V out is 20 millivolts times 10 to the power of 6 over 20. And it'll give me thirty-nine point nine millivolts. So six dB would roughly double the voltage on the output. If I had a negative gain, I could do the same thing. So let's say I did negative 6 dB instead of positive 6 dB. So plugging that into my calculator. So V out would be 10 millivolts. So negative 6 dB halves the voltage. Positive 6 dB doubles the voltage. Okay? Um, so I've chosen 6 dB there because it's a nice easy round number. It may not be that. It might be 60 or 18 or something else like that. Okay? Uh, the same principle applies. So that's the formula for calculating the gain at the decibels given the voltages. So it's a 20 times log of the ratio of the voltages. Okay. To transpose that to get a voltage, I would need to use this formula here. Okay. So that's the the transposed equation for the run. Okay. So that's for voltage. Now for power, it's slightly different. It's very similar, but slightly different. For power, power volt dB is ten times log of the output power over the input power. Now keeping in mind that the definition of power here okay, it's the voltage times the current or the voltage squared divided by the resistance or the I squared R, current squared times the resistance. 
So power is really in joules per second, okay? So don't get confused with it being a voltage or a current or something like that. It's actually the voltage times the current. Um, and this only really works if input impedance is equal to the output impedance. Okay? So we were talking about the input impedance of an amplifier before in the previous unit. If the input and the output impedance are matched, then we can use this formula. If they're not matched, what we can do is we can calculate the voltage for the given input power um, for each one and use the voltage gain formula. Okay, so you can calculate the voltage given this V squared on R. Okay. Um, okay, so if you will generally be told that the input is equal to the output. We won't be generally not asked to find it given that the, they're different. Not in, not in this course anymore. Okay, so if the, uh, let's do an example question. So if P in is one milliwatt and P out equals, let's say 35 watts. So this is, a, this is going to be a rather large gain, okay? So we're actually 35,000 times the power, right? So the output power is 35,000 times bigger than the input power. If I use this formula to calculate the decibels, it's going to be not a number as unwieldy as 35,000, but be something a little bit more manageable. So 10 times log of 35,000 milliwatts divided by 1 milliwatt is so db so I had to convert them both to the same unit I could have done it 35 divided by 0 0.001 would have given me the same answer and this is equal to 45.4 okay so the gain of an amplifier with this sort of output power and input power would be 45.4 dB, okay? So th a, the power gain is 35,000 times, but in decibels it's 45.4, okay? Let's look at another example, and I'm going to sort of pick on one that is a bit more um, relevant to the cutoff frequencies that we're talking about. So if I had an input power of 1 milliwatt, and the output was minus maybe 20 milliwatts. And the output power is 10 milliwatts. So the output here is half of the input. So uh, dB 10 times log 10 over 20. And it's equal to minus 3 dB. Okay, so there's that minus 3 dB. So remember when we were talking about at the cutoff frequency, a filter's voltage is going to be 0 0.707 times the input voltage, and its output power will be half. Okay, so that's that's if the input voltage, the input power is 20 milliwatts, and the output power here was 10 milliwatts, then that's the output power is a half of the input power. And so it's at minus 3 dB, okay? And this gives you a clue, actually, this gives you a clue as to the difference between the two formulas. So remembering for the, for this is for power, and for voltage, it's 20 times log of the ratio of voltages. So why 20 for voltage and 10 for power? It's because of this squared here, okay? So remembering when, when you're looking at exponents, um, the factor for the exponents, the multiple of the exponents, is going to be the same as the factor for the 
for that. So the square there is really two times in the in the if we take the logarithmic scale. Okay, and so um, so these two formulas they really are the same because they rely on this formula here for power to be squared on that. And that is why this input impedance must equal the output impedance for this formula to work. Okay. Um, okay, so likewise, if we have a gain in decibels and let's say an input power, we can calculate the output power. So I'll write the transposed equation and you'll find that it's actually very similar to the transposed equation I had for the voltage decibel gain. So P out equals uh, P in times 10 to the power of um, the decibels divided by 10. Okay, so if I want to find the output power, given the input power and the decibels, I need to use that. So this is the transposed equation of this. And so an example would be uh, P in is 10 milliwatts and the gain is, let's say it's uh, 30 dB. A decent bit of gain there. Okay, so uh, we've got P out equals 10 milliwatts times 10 to the power of 30 over 10. 10,000 milliwatts. 10 watts. Okay, so if I had a, um, a amplifier, that was a 30 dB amplifier, and input power was 10 milliwatts, then the output power would be 1,000 times that, or 10 watts. Okay, now a couple of things about dB. It is a lowercase d and a capital B. The, the D is for deci, meaning one tenth. Okay, so like decimeters, decigrams, they are um, a, one of the prefixes that are used to de describe one tenth. And B for Bell, named after Alexander Graham Bell, the inventor of the telephone. Okay, and so whenever a person's name is used, you give a capital letter for their unit, and um, lowercase D for deci. Okay, so it's one tenth of a bell, and because uh, we use decibel rather than bells, because bells just becomes a bit unwieldy, the numbers are too big, and so we uh, use decibels instead. Um, okay, so decibel scale is a logarithmic scale, depending on whether we have the voltages or the power given to us, depends on which formula we need to use. Okay, if you see the power being used, you will probably also see a um, statement basically saying the input impedance is equal to the output impedance. Okay, um, so that should be a clue there for you to use this formula here. All right.